I've always uh, and often time told my colleagues as why we travel around that this is the most difficult time in 40 years of evangelism that I have sensed in terms of a counterculture, but it is the most opportune moment. No matter where we go, no matter where we go, at university campuses, the audiences are packed to capacity, generally with standing room only crowds. They realize they don't have the answers anymore. They are struggling to find wherein they should turn, in which direction they should move and turn their lives into the hands of what person or what belief or what ideology. Chesterton's little statement is so true. The problem with Christianity is not that it has been tried and found wanting, but that it has been found difficult and left untried. If you take the gospel message, it is so unique, so unique, Contrast it with any other worldview. No worldview even comes close. Let me take just <coughs> two simple truths from the gospel that stand gigantically over all the others. If you were to talk to a Hindu or a Muslim or a Buddhist, they will all have one thing in common, that the pathway to nirvana or the pathway to moksha, which is release, is through your own effort to build your righteousness up. For the, for the Hindu, it is karma, the karmic law has to work out. If you ask any Muslim, how do you attain paradise? His answer, if he is an honest Muslim and a truthful Muslim, will say to you, your good deeds will have to outweigh your bad deeds and your deeds will be made on that final judgment day. By goodness, you will have to outweigh all of the badness in your life. And you ask a Christian, how do you know you're going to go to heaven? And the answer is very simple. It is by the grace and the mercy of God, not by any righteousness. What a difference, stark difference. And then the centerpiece of the cross in our message. Some years ago, I was talking to, uh, doing a forum with a leading Shiite cleric in Syria, Sheikh Hussein. We had an audience and we agreed to the terms. I would ask him one question, he would answer it. He would ask me one question. So he's a real gentleman, very courteous, very cordial, and so I agreed to dialogue. And then as he would, he would he, there was an interpreter between us, he would always address me as professor, very respectful. And I would call him Sheikh Hussein. And then finally, as we were coming to an end, he leaned over and said through the interpreter, please tell the professor, I have come to one conclusion after this dialogue. It is about time that we Muslims stop asking if Jesus died on the cross and start asking why. <clears throat> and I said to the Sheikh, do I have your permission to quote to you, sir? He said, you do. See, the centerpiece of the gospel and the gift of grace. Now, 